now, from the Fox Studios in the television capital of the world, it's Fox Kids Pick of the Week, where each week a different Fox kid picks and introduces a special show. Hi, I'm Candace, and I'm in the Fox Kids Video Vault, where I pick Mr. Knight, The Making of a Legend. It's a behind-the-scenes look at this new show coming to Fox Kids this fall. So give it up for Fox Kids Pick of the Week. Mystic Knights, The Making of a Legend is rated Y7FB because it's a sword-swinging epic adventure. Ages and ages ago, in a land of magic and enchantment, in a time of war, new heroes foretold by legend prophesied by an ancient scroll. This is my destiny. Must rise up to defend the kingdom. Where did you get such weapons? The little people gave them to us, to defend Kells. They will become the mystic knights of Tir Nanog. And this is the story of their legend in the making. Welcome to the world of the mystic knights of Tir Nanog. A legend in the making. Hi, I'm Lachlan O'Mara, and I play Rowan, the Mystic Knight of Fire. Rowan started his life as an orphan, and later apprenticed the King's Druid, where he became linked by an ancient scroll to his ultimate destiny, to lead the Kingdom of Kells in a battle against evil. Mystic Knights of Tirn and Og is an exciting story of adventure and magic. In the next half hour, we're going to take you behind the scenes of Mystic Knights, it's a great new series here on Fox Kids. Now, let's journey to a land of imagination and meet some of the people who make Mystic Knights magic. Here we go, ready? Tirna Nog really means the land of youth. It's a land where no one go grows old and lives forever. It's a realm of magic and enchantment, fantasy and adventure. It's action and sorcery God. on a mythic scale. I think the, the, the magic and the imagination that is, is brought to bear in these um, mythological stories that, that come out of Ireland is, is particularly interesting in a, for a modern audience. Shot on location in Ireland. Marker. For Saban Entertainment. Premiering this fall on the Fox Kids Network. A great many films and television shows are produced here every year. Although Mystic Nights will be the very first American television series shot entirely on location in Ireland. It's got fantastic locations. It's got the castles, it's got the backgrounds, it's got the cliffs and the, the green rolling hills that lend itself to the kind of mythological stories that we're telling. Writer-director Bob Hughes created the series and is the inspiration behind the magic. It's a story of four young heroes who have to save their kingdom from the onslaught of an evil queen who's uh, out to get them. Forces of sorcery, by the power in this stone, send to me a creature! They have a lot more power than we have, you know? They can make themselves disappear, they have illusions. Seize that venomous witch! We're kind of playing catch-up with them all the time, you know? David always got a couple of tricks better than us. Perhaps you will submit to my tash hounds. The cast is utterly fantastic. Some of the actors have years and years of stage experience on the Abbey stage as well as motion picture and television experience, which is uh, bringing a, a wealth of riches to the show. We've got one of the best casts I've ever worked with. Mystic Knight stars Lachlan O'Meara as the group's leader, Rowan. Goodbye, Cad. Good journeying, apprentice. Rowan is a young druid's apprentice, and he has a history that he doesn't understand and a future that is a, a mystery. You trusted my counsel in the past. If this boy says he can find Riganta, then let him try. He's, he's not afraid to try, really, you know? Nothing's too much of an obstacle. If, if he has the right reasons to go and do something, that seems to be all he needs, really. You know, if something's wrong, he'll try and fix it. Vincent Walsh as uh, Angus. Come to taunt me, have you? Come to free you, if you help me. Oh, what kind of help might that be? Angus, who has been my friend for, for years, since as far as I can remember. Oh, the oh. smell! Justin Pierre as Prince Ivar. 
he's got his own quest, first and foremost, from his own kingdom. And uh, he's looking for a golden chalice. And he's been brought to the land of Kells. But on his ways, he's bumped into these two rogues. <laughs> Gentlemen, I meant you no harm. I'm Prince Ivar from the land beyond the sea. Lisa Dwan as the beautiful Princess Deirdre. I think she's constantly shocking the boys, who are surprised that she's not as princess-like as she seems. She's very strong, very able, very domineering, and she's a very exciting character to play. Deirdre! How dare you kick a princess! Well, how was I supposed to know? Who is this woman? This is King Conaghan's daughter, Deirdre, who was under her father's strict instructions not to journey on this quest. My father was right to doubt you, sending a boy to do a warrior's job. It's natural for a, a fantasy adventure show to be appealing to young boys, but I think girls will like this show as well. Princess Deirdre is a woman of the 90s, really. She's uh, a well-motivated warrior princess, uh, and kids are gonna, I think little girls will like seeing her in action. And Charlotte Bradley as the wicked Queen Maeve. I will unleash all the powers of my sorcery and destroy Kells. Queen Maeve is probably one of the most well-motivated villainesses on the screen. Uh, she feels that ruling all of the island is her birthright, not just Temra, but also the kingdom of Kells. You have your magic. Our bargain is finished. <laughs> my warriors have failed me. All the powers that you have given me are no longer enough. I need more. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to do. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And it's got all the elements of magic and evil and good. But thrown in there, there's quite a wry sense of humor. It would give me no small pleasure to see Maeve and that dark fairy Mido defeated. The warrior Dragantil, you see, can do this. Cool, huh? When we come back, You'll meet Lisa Dwan, who plays the beautiful Princess Deirdre. And then we'll take a trip into the realm of technical wizardry. Fox Kids will be right back. And now, back to Fox Kids. Welcome back. I'm Lisa Dwan and I play Princess Deirdre, the Mystic Knight of Air. Despite Deirdre's father being king, that doesn't stop her from joining Rowan and the others on their quest to save the kingdom. Really what makes Mystic Knights so unique is its use of computer-generated images and special effects that bring to life creatures that once lived only in your imagination. Here we go again. One of the great things about Mystic Knights is that today there's so much new technology available to us to be able to bring a look to the, uh, to the small screen that was before only available in feature films. Kelly, please, your turn around with the kick. You're working with the unknown, you know what I mean? There's no background, there's nothing. Who dares challenge the great eye sword of Tamara? Me! The Mystic Knight of Fire. I hope you are feeling lucky. You have to know where everything is in your mind. It's a, it's a photograph. But all we're looking at is a blank wall all the time. And it's not easy. But you have to visualize it. How will we ever tame this thing? Oh, do I come face to face with the dragon? He's probably more afraid of us than we are of him. I sincerely doubt that. I've never really worked with special effects before. And um, that can be very difficult. I mean, you're fighting imaginary ogres. A lot of CGI is being used on the show to create fantasy creatures and adversaries that you'd never see anyplace else except in a fantasy storybook. These characters will exist only in the computer, but with the green screen technology, with the magic of computers, we'll be able to put them into scenes like, like the environment you see around me here, and they'll be as real as though they were three-dimensional characters. You will not leave Tyr unaided. But everybody got weapons. 
the king of the little people said you already have yours and I didn't know what he meant and he told me to knock my sword against his throne and as soon as I did that it turned into this it's a great sword you must hurry your king's castle is under siege it has the ability to shoot flames from it as well I will return with more powerful creatures and finish what I started. The Kingdom of Kells will be mine! When you watch very carefully, you'll see the magic around you and believe it, because it's real. Stand back, Watson. When we come back, we'll meet Vincent Walsh, who plays my fellow mystic knight, Angus, and see what it's like behind the scenes during the filming of our show. Watch out for the swordplay. <laughs> Fox Kids will be right back. And now, back to Fox Kids. Hiya, I'm Vincent Walsh, and I play Angus, who's friends with Rowan since they were kids. Angus is a bit of a rogue, and he likes to get into trouble every now and then. But underneath it all, he's a good guy. Mystic Nights is a complicated show to produce and it takes a lot of people to pull it off. Camera people, wardrobe, makeup, and lighting technicians, and many, many more. Without each and every one of them, this show wouldn't be a show. Let's meet some of them now. Actor! All four of the leads in the show are very physical. Uh, they have uh, stunt training. Lisa Guan, who plays Deirdre, was a dancer for many years and moves very well. But it's important because it's a show with a lot of action. And our leads, as you'll see, will be involved in a great deal of action. Sometimes it won't be the stuntmen doing the stunts. It'll be our leads themselves. We were hanging upside down up on a tree for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I've captured two rows. That was one of our stunts. The stunt coordinator, Bronco, goes over the sequences, choreographs them, and you know, go over them a lot. So basically, by the time you've gone over them, you know, five, six, seven times, by then you're confident enough to do it. When the director says action, and you've got about seven or eight guys coming at you, and. Uh, Basically, as Lawrence Olivier said, don't knock over the furniture, just do your stuff. And you've got, you've got Bronco, who, who really helps you out. Bang, box, basketball. That's the one, you got it. I'm allowed input, but it's, it's very important. Lots of input, and the director's a liberal with me, and the producer likes it, and try and put a bit of humor in, you know, so it's, uh, I enjoy that. Kids like action series. They've, they've seen lots of different kinds of action series, but I think an Irish period piece like this, based as it is in all its mythology and magic and folklore is, is going to be very exciting for American kids to see. The treaty was just a distraction. As I said, I intend to get what I deserve. It's the job of director of photography James Mathers to make sure that it all comes out on film. God is my gaffer on the exteriors and I just try to capture the beauty of Ireland. I think an important thing that, that I bring to this show, besides the lighting, is camera movement. The camera movement is really important to me. We use a lot of cranes. And the Mystic Knights filmmakers also have access to the latest state-of-the-art physical filmmaking equipment. You might have seen me uh, use some headsets, and what those are are a contraption that allows me to see 
through the uh, viewfinder without actually having my eye to the camera. And that allows me, with the use of a jib arm, to float the camera very freely and get a lot of movement. Wait for me, I have a map. That's the mountains of the north. And the caves of the west are right below Maeve's castle. Doesn't matter. I say we forget the armor and head straight for the caves of Dare. But it's not all lights, camera, and action for production designer Jim Furlong. It's all about preparation. When I started on this, there was no script. There was a small brief on the, the requirements of the show. It was a, a typical Irish village, a castle for the good king, a castle for the bad queen, and a cave for the leprechauns and the fairies. And that's, that's the way I started. This must be the little people's underworld. <laughs> Turn it on. It does exist. Interesting. The first castle we picked was the, the influence was Kerr Castle in County Tipperary. And that was the first bit of research I did. It's, it's probably the best restored castle in Ireland. And we've reproduced many of the elements of that castle you know, on our sets. Then Jim had another challenge, to create a village that reflected the life and times of the Celtic peoples ages ago. We searched this whole area and we found that this place, if I was a prehistoric man, that's the way I approached it. Where would I like to build here? And I sort of, this is the spot that I picked. We didn't do any technical drawings uh, for this village. The, the crew that came in here were told to work as if they were building a house for the first time, that they weren't carpenters, they weren't uh, construction crew. So that's, that's the way we started. We just followed the lay of the land around here with the buildings. And uh, that's how the, the village evolved over a six or seven week period. All of the pottery here was designed and researched and, and made for the production. The furniture is based on actual furniture types of the period. We hired the, the carpenters and the craftspeople to do that type of work. And in addition to the production designer, a team of talented professionals create and maintain the costumes, props, weapons, sets, locations, and equipment. It's all about friendship. You could be a champion with that sword, Rowan. This battle's far from over. Trust. You risked your life for mine. I am forever in your debt. You and should... loyalty. We must continue our quest. I'm ready. As Rowan fights to fulfill his destiny. We'll pass this test. And bring peace to Kells. Rowan, so now we have to starve to death. Will you quit jabbering and help me get out of here? for a hundred lifetimes. I refuse to lose another battle. When we come back, we'll meet Justin Pierre, who plays one of my fellow mystic knights, Prince Ivar. Fox Kids will be right back. In a faraway land of beauty and peace, one woman threatens to destroy it all. By the power in this stone, send to me a creature! You serve me. Go, destroy cows! Only four heroes can save their land. The bold Rowan, clever Angus, strong Ivar, and brave Deirdre. They are the mystic knights of Tyr Nadeau. The adventure begins Saturday, September 12th on Fox Kids. I'm Justin Pierre. I play Prince Ivar, Mystic Knight of Water. Ivar came from a land across the seas to discover an ancient chalice stolen from his kingdom. But when Ivar ends up owing his life to Rowan, he gladly joins him on his quest. Mystic Knights of Tirna Nog is more than simply a mystical adventure. It's a magical myth in the making. Please, handsome one. 
go no further. I fear you'll fail the test and be turned into a spriggan. Calm yourself, little one. We'll pass this test. But there is something you can do for us. Oh, anything. Go and see how the king's troops are faring against Maeve's forces. Adventure, ogres, dragons, uh, fantasy, uh, magic, um, druids and wizards, things that are going to be, uh, I think, really entertaining to children and uh, tell stories that have been in existence really for ages and the kind of uh, folklore and, and legend that lives on and on. The cliffs of the east are guarded by Sonora's sky, Deirdre. I know, Aideen, and I'll have to battle with him to attain my armor. I'm not sure you're up to the task. I hear he's fearsome in battle. And so am I. It's an awful lot of fun, and that transpires on screen. And uh, there's an awful lot of great energy. Come, join the quest, and become one with the mystic knights of Tir Nano. There's a lot of fighting in this, but ultimately we like to use our heads before we use our weapons. They are on their way to the cliffs of the east, where King Kanaha's daughter will claim her armor. No! It cannot happen. We're having great fun doing this show, and we really hope you really enjoy watching it. I give you the mystic knights! <laughs> On behalf of all the little people of Tiernan Oak and all of us here in the land of Kells, we'd like to invite you to join us on a journey to the land of imagination for myth, magic, action and adventure on Mystic Nights of Tiernan Oak, coming this fall only on Fox Kids. <laughs> Fox Kids, if you've enjoyed this hour of goosebumps, then it's time to prepare for all new scares. Mark your calendars for September 14th when the spooking hour moves to Monday afternoons. Then get ready for never before seen all new alarming episodes of R.L. Stein's Goosebumps. Brand new two parters made especially for you. Watch Goosebumps Mondays this fall right here on Fox Kids, if you dare.